In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys that with a simple GitHub account, you can create your own website and deploy it to Netlify in under 15 minutes. Alright, the number one thing that you need to do before you start this project is to decide your stack. I went with Next.js, Tailwind CSS and Netlify CRM. Once you've fixed your stack, in the second step, I would recommend to start from a template. You can find a bunch of different templates running on different stacks in the Jamstack Netlify templates website and you can just pick one that you want to do. As the first step, I wanted to build a simple home page which is going to be static in most places and which is going to just show that my website is going to be under construction. Alright, now the website is done and I'm going to be pushing this site to my GitHub account, creating a new repository, putting all the code that I've written so far into this repository. Move to Netlify.com and sign up for a free account using the same GitHub profile that you did to push your code. Once you're inside your Netlify account, choose the import project option from your team profile and choose the repository that needs to be deployed. Follow the on-screen walkthrough to finish the setting up of the project. The seventh step is very important. You have to provide two key information for the deployment to be successful. The first one is the build command. Most often this is going to change based on the framework or the stack that you're going to use. Since for Next.js it is a very simple build command, I put that out right there. The second important thing is your public directory which is oftentimes out and you can just put these two information in your deploy settings. Alright, the eighth step is to save all changes, click on deploy and wait for about two to three minutes while the Netlify does its work. After three minutes, my deployment was completed and voila, my web page is now available in a simple temporary URL that Netlify itself provides. The amazing thing about Netlify setup is that it provides a continuous deployment option, which means that every single time you wanna push some code into this repository, it is automatically going to build and deploy it to your website. You don't have to manually go and click any buttons in your Netlify UI. That's pretty much it. If you guys are looking to deploy a website, this is all the steps that you need. The next two or three steps is going to show you guys how you can connect your custom domain and link it with your Netlify application. The 10th step is if you have a custom domain, move to the domain option on your homepage and add the domain name. Make note of the name server entries that are coming up in this page because you're going to definitely need it for the next step. Now go to your domain holder, in my case it is GoDaddy. Under the DNS option you find there are a bunch of name servers that are already filled out. Change it with the name servers that you picked up from the previous step. The recommended waiting time for the domain names to propagate is 24 hours but in my case it happened in under 1 hour. The final step is optional but is often recommended which is to convert your traffic to run on HTTPS. This is auto suggested for you as soon as your propagation is successful. Click a button and there you go, your certificate is up updated and your server traffic is now encrypted to run on HTTPS. If you guys are aware or if you guys already have good understanding of running uh, servers using JavaScript, I would highly recommend you guys to move your domain or website onto a free Netlify tire and check how it is working for you. One important note is that this video is in no way sponsored by Netlify. I was pretty much amazed at how simple it was to move my already running website onto a Netlify app. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be moving or migrating my WordPress site, which is the AndroidMonks.com, to something that is going to be running on a SSR. I'm very excited to share with you guys all the steps and all the journey that I'm going to be going through. If you guys are interested, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, Bharat, peace out. Have a super awesome day.